what do we have here? Looks like you're going blind now. We have a little bit of a twist for today. This is, that's not my neighbor. I've seen it trending online recently and I wanna give it a shot. Are we a paranoid house owner or something? I would be too if I lived next to a volcano for all my life. A dormant volcano, mind you. From what I've seen, you're a guard for an apartment. Give me the laptop, I need it now. As soon as you said guard, Donald had his finger on the trigger for a response. I expected such. Why is he talking like an adult talks in Charlie Brown? Doppelganger detection department. What was that? Joe, you said we were a security guard, not a doorman. It's the same thing. See, we have to figure out who's a doppelganger. What does that even mean? A doppelganger? In this universe, it seems like we have entities that mimic our appearances. Can we get some examples or are you gonna throw me in to flop around? Of course you're throwing me in to flop around. Doesn't seem too complex. I'm sure the appearance will be really disformed. We even have a checklist for us to follow along to. Which is good because these things are lethal. Not tough enough for the world's best security guard. And what is this office? And there goes the arrogance. Just looks like a standard informational booth. Looks like we have a phone, some files, and a lock switch. Do I have the option to punch them if I suspect that they're a doppelganger? Odds that this ends up being prison glass just went up after that comment. I didn't think those were the files, but I guess that doesn't make me wrong either. Pretty sure this violates several privacy laws. This seems very systematic, like it's very difficult for us to fail. I assure you that we will find a way. What documents do they need to get into an apartment? They have better security than our own border. Something like that. Seems simple enough, although I'm not sure if we can keep it locked or not. If I manually have to hold this thing down, I'm just keeping my shoe on it. 3312, remember that number in case we have a doppelganger issue. I think the phone number is on a sticky note, but I'll write it down just in case. Any apartment in the building? Can't wait to get yelled at by single mother Becky after her 14 hour shift. You read that, Donald? Our job is really important, so treat it as such. The arrogance to forget who you're talking to. They even have doorman of the month, Donald. Two hours in that box and that award is mine. Wow, quite literally too. We just have to live long enough. Working conditions might be in the mud if Henry is the best they have. We have to be better, it seems. That doesn't look like it'll take much. Henry looks like he shops at Abercrombie. Not a drop of testosterone in that frail body of his. What did Henry even do to catch a stray? Well, here's our office. Seems small and quiet. It's the guys from Monsters, Inc. Doesn't sound too far off. Watch Donald somehow quarantine a completely innocent resident. Why does everyone on here look like history teachers? Uh, are we doormen for Yale graduates? Oh, that's what's gonna make it tricky then. Nothing is ever too easy. Is this what the Minecraft enchantment table sounds like? I guess the entry request and ID card is what goes through the hole. Okay, I have a handle on this now. You guys were teenagers during this date. That is insane. So is that it? Do we get this thing started? Remember, use the files to line up their appearances. First day, what could go wrong? How long are we gonna sit here and wait? Oh, hello, why do you have different colored eyes? That's not as rare as you think. Name, Nacha Michaelis. Apartment, F0204. I'm a resident of the building. I come from my job as a chef. I see the DDD logo that the guard was referring to. So now that we have this, we look at the file and, and compare the information, right? I think that's how it works. Second floor, fourth apartment. Yep, there she is. Works as a chef, too. Goes into detail about what her left and right eye looks like. Just remember to make the proper comparisons here. You see that apartment phone number, Don? Looks like we can reach out to them if we have any suspicions. Yeah, I see that. Appearance, right eye blue, left eye green, curly hair. She has freckles and a round face. I think that lines up. 
I'm going through my head with what you just said, and I don't think there's anything weird here. Right eye blue, left eye green, curly hair. Okay, now let's look at this accordingly. Wait a minute. Where's your ID at? Yeah, let's question her. Looks like she just popped it through. Um, guess we know what to look for now from tenants. Name, expiration date looks good, and the logo and the ID, that is a long ID. I recommend taking a gander at what the ID says on the file. Looks like he already beat you to it. They have the ID number the size of a pillow tag. All right, let's see here. And that looks good, too. So is there anything else that we've missed, or can we let her go through? Hold on, is she on today's list? And she is on the list. But I just feel like we're missing something, though. Well, as a last resort, we can call her apartment and see what's going on there. You never know if it would reveal any answers. What do we do if nobody answers? Back to square one, I guess. Wait, what was the name of the lady at the window? Did you not hear the question? Who's the lady at the window? Don't you talk back to me, you mutant toddler station. So everything looks good to go then, right? Process of elimination, entry request. Oh, oh yeah, we did that. We're good, lady. Now to pass them through, you have to hit the green button because that's what needs to be activated. Weren't you going into this blind? As blind as I can be, I still looked at the game a bit. All right, you've passed inspection. And tell your daughter upstairs that she needs to learn some manners. First tenant and first felon charge. Whoa! Lady, trust me, I am so glad that there's a divider between us right now. Dare I ask what that's supposed to mean? 103, okay, that looks good. Also, she's never heard of Colgate. Donald, what do you actually get out of making fun of cartoon drawings? Satisfaction, I suppose. That is a huge mouth, however. I think you could pry it open and use it as a fruit bowl. And she works as a seamstress. See, Joe gets it. I mean, just look at her. This just screams doppelganger. Either that or she made her dentures out of plywood. I still do not understand how grilling her appearance like cheese and bread will help us in any way whatsoever. Because I said so. Classic Donald. All right, cat lady, go attend to your felines or something. She may own a couple of hundred, but I don't see any cat hair. Yes, unfortunately. And make sure there isn't a purple one with red smoke coming out of its mouth. Well, that's two down. Seems simple enough. Let's hope we still have smooth sailing. Oh, no. Look, this isn't the corner store. Get your black and mild somewhere else. Excuse me? Sir, I'm a security guard. Wow, you actually want me to answer this. Do you know what this is, Joe? Not the slightest clue. Hold on, I may have the best answer, the very best. Let me cook. Uh, Donald? I said, let me cook! <laughs> ah! Um... Well, isn't this a problem? I just saw pea teeth not five minutes ago. Same dress, same smile, same hair. Looks like the same everything. Was Margaret Bubbles the first person's name, too? I'm a resident of the building. I went out for my job as a seamstress. Yeah, so did another you that also swallowed coconuts whole. Well, now the big question is, what are we going to do about this? I don't think we can go back on our decision once we let someone in. Might just have to roll with the punches on this one. Look, she looks exactly the same. Same crooked smile and same crooked teeth. What other indications can we look at that would give away that she's a doppelganger? She was originally on the list. I think her ID matches the one on the file. It's a shot in the dark, but should we try calling her home? If we let a doppelganger inside anyways, she would probably eat whoever was at her house. You know what, Obama? I'm going for it. Not like we have much else in this knapsack. And here's Margaret. The right one? Thanks. Now use some crest because I can smell your breath through the landline. Well then. Well, I just called your apartment and somehow you answered. So you can talk to the DDD in 123. The number is pinned right there if you can't remember it. Hurry up, Don. I don't know if these things can escape or not, but these sirens have got to be making people panic. It's ringing right now. All I can do is wait. Yeah, we have a doppelganger issue here, and the last thing we need is two cat ladies. Looks like we have agents being sent to the building as we speak. So what are we supposed to do in the meantime? Sit here and try not to flex my Second Amendment rights against this metal curtain. The wall looks pretty thick anyways. So that means we did good, right? Either that or we just extinguished an innocent apartment resident 
but sometimes you just have to be extra careful around these parts. That's not a good thing. And why does everyone in this game have a head that's bigger than their body? Her lips take up half of her head, and she's not on the list. ID card. This name looks like a coffee ingredient. That says Capuchin, which could be linked to Cappuccino. I'm a resident of the building. I went out to visit my parents. Does it say family trait? That is certainly a name. Raftelian? You have to remember that this is in the mid-50s. A lot of names here are most likely going to be some that you haven't heard in a while, like Ethel or Ernest. We have the Monopoly couple over here. We also have the apartment phone number here, too, so I'll keep this in my back pocket. I'll just check her entry request and ID for now. Long face, big nose, straight hair, wears a headband. I think that all lines up. It's a pretty distinct appearance, after all. You forgot the double chin. Donald must be screaming internally that someone's trying to clone him. OK, yeah, that's the ID. And that looks good. I can't tell if this person is real or fake. I'm just calling the landline. Yeah, I don't think I can spot anything out either. So this might be our best shot to tell what happens here. And the boat is docked. So the raft that is at our window right now is a total fake. Her husband is out, however. So that may be important for later on. Well, thingamathong, you got some explaining to do on how you can be in two places at once. Dock her on the ID, because that's not technically her. Yes, your ID. You're a replica. You're also not a very intelligent replica, either. Do I call the DDD right away, or? Yeah, I'm sick of looking at her face. Thanks, hazmat man. We apparently do not like cat ladies getting in a five-foot radius of us. Well, that wasn't the only motivation, but that certainly does play a factor in it. Oh. What wonderful teeth you have. I didn't know beavers were living here. That beaver also isn't on the list. Wait, I just noticed that all of her hair is covering her eyes. How can she even see where she's going? I'm a resident of the building. My apartment is the zero one on the first floor. That's a weird way to say first apartment. Uh, Donald, you see what I see? I'm scribbling my mouse over it right now. No teeth. That calls for a call. I'm surprised they don't get annoyed at us. And we just got the confirmation that we needed. Beaver Teeth isn't a beaver at all. She's only a copycat of femboy Timmy Turner. Why do you keep calling everybody a femboy? Because that's what's necessary to survive in this post-apocalyptic world. Insults and calling the DDD. We've gotten a lot of them in a row. You think that these things would catch on by now, but it seems that they're not very thorough with how they copy the, their information. Copy all they want. I already have agents dispatched to the location as we speak. As the kids like to say, it's Joe over. Uh, I still don't understand how that meme came to be in the first place. All I've done was be a president and I have people trying to make memes of me. Thanks, boys. You might as well keep someone on standby because we've gotten three doppelgangers in a row and I don't think it'll be stopping anytime soon. He's already gone, Donald. I forgot that a milkman used to be a career you could have. Now I can have someone pick up synthesized milk from McDonald's for me. Francis Moss's. His apartment is F0302. I will say, all of these residents have the exact same dialect when it comes to writing on notes. Yeah, that's the apartment he lives in. If I call his apartment and no one answers, that should be a dead giveaway that this guy's a real person, yeah? I would still check the ID card and everything, but that would be pretty convincing. Then call we shall. I must uncover the truth about our man of milk. Is it me or does he look like Pete Buttigieg? Well, he's not home. Wait, he does look like Pete Buttigieg. He's on the list, too. The only thing that, that's really wrong with him is his career choice. This won't be lasting for another 15 years. It's not like we're living in a luxury apartment anyways. All these dust bunnies are a big concern on the health and sanitation of this place. His ID is all good, too. Talk about a stellar record. We didn't miss anything, right? Um, I kind of got distracted with Barack's comparison. What? No need to fear. The world's best security guard is here. The job is all clear. You're all good to go, Milkman. Just do yourself a favor and look into some eye repair cream. Uh, what's happening? Oh, we're already done. I think Donald actually did really good. We captured five doppels, killed zero neighbors. That's got to be a record in its own. Is that it? Oh, what rank did we get? I got an S rank. I did it once again. The world's best security guard. And there it is. Victory screech. Uh-oh. Ah!
It's Donald Trump here wanting to thank all of our members for supporting us. We can't thank you enough. If you would like to become a member and see exclusive content, click the link in the description.